What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to continue developing our uh, building model. Okay, so this time I'm gonna show you how to create and modify floors. Okay, so let's do this. So I'm going to select the floor here from the architecture tab. So I'm gonna use here architectural floor. So let's click this one and then here on our draw panel, I'm gonna use here tick walls. Okay, and then here on our options bar, so what I'm going to do is I don't want to uh, extend my floor into the wall core. So that's why I'm going to uncheck this one. So I'm going to uncheck that. Okay, and then I'm going to click now the inside surface of my exterior wall. So I'm going to pick on the inside surface, that one. So I'm going to pick here as well. Here as well. And this this oops okay so if ever you encounter this type of um, issue so you can just click that arrow to flip it okay okay and the next thing that I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna zoom out so I'll be able to see the lines that I have created the boundary and then for you to be able to create your floor make sure your sketch is close no intersection and no overlapping so that's why we need to close this by using trim extend to corner so let's use this one let's connect okay so let's click this let's click this okay so this one cannot be so that's why we need to make sure they are properly close no overlapping no intersection it should be close okay so that's it so once you have done that okay so before you finish so you can change here the type of the floor that you want you can click the type selector so let's say for example i want to use here this one lw concrete on metal deck so i'll click that and then after that just select check here to finish edit mode so just click that and there you go so would you like walls that go up to these floors levels to attach to its bottom so i just select here uh, don't attach and if i want to select don't attach here every time for this type of question you always want don't attach option so you just select this one to do not show this message again and then after that you select don't attach there you go so we now have our uh, floor and if we are going to open the section here this one so let's open up that you will now be able to see here the floor that you just created or that I just created which is this one here okay so that's now the the floor okay so now the next thing that I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna create a wood truss floor that joins the exterior uh, exterior walls okay so let's do this. So I'm going to open the main floor. So let me open the main floor here. Okay. And then I'm going to select again the floor. So let's select the floor, architectural. Okay. Again, I'm going to use here the pick walls. So let's use that. So I'm going to pick the exterior wall. Let's pick the exterior wall here. This one and this one here and for this one so maybe i'm going to use the line tool here so what i want to do is i'm going to click the line tool and then i'm gonna snap here or maybe at the center line here i'm gonna create the snap there and then i'm gonna use three max extend to corner so let me click this Click the two sides that you want to remain up like that. Okay, and then let me continue creating peak walls again. So I'm going to peak the... So maybe I'm going to place it here. Okay, so let's uh, trim extent corner. So let's peak, peak. Okay, and again the peak walls and let me click again here and 
line tool let me snap click here okay and then pick walls again let's pick here again I can select this one to flip to the other side and then let's click now on the trim extent to corner it's because the sketch should be close no intersection and no overlapping okay that's it modify okay now for this one I'll click this and then I'm just gonna flip that okay and now for the type for this floor I'm gonna click the type selector and then I'm gonna use here my wood truss Mm, join 300 so let me use this one wood trash joist 300 mm carpet finish so let me click that okay and then after that I'll just select here check all right so would you like to join geometry that cut the overlapping volume out of the walls so I'm just gonna select here yes and that's it okay so let us now open our section view to check our model so let's click that so this is our first floor and then here's now our second floor okay so you can also change the detail level here to fine and let's change that to uh, shaded color that's the one so there's our floor there and then here's our another floor here okay so that's it for creating your floor so hopefully you learned something from this video if you have any comments questions or suggestions you can put it on the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can so once again thank you for watching guys have a nice day